Well, good afternoon. Wednesday, the 3rd of January, 2018. Happy New Year. Last week, I had a client call me. I'm going to call him Joe. He's 45 years old and he wanted to retire when he was 67. But because of the current low rates he's getting on his investments, he wanted to know if he was on track. Well, I just got back to him uh, with a quick meeting and explained to him what his results were. And I'll share those with you now so you see what a proper plan does for you. I'm just going to kick up his report. And there it is. And now I'm going to zoom in on the important part. Okay, here's our fellow Joe. We'll call him Joe Sample. And uh, that's me, Bernie Petko. That's our company, Advisor & Co. Wealth Management. Here, Joe, 45 years old. He wants to retire at 65. And he wants his money to last at least 30 years. So that would make him 95 years old. He has 20 years yet to invest. And his bank is currently giving him 2.75%. And the current inflation rate is 2.10% in Canada per year. He's making $60,000 a year. He just got a raise uh, last year, so he doubts if he'll get another one for the next little while. Uh, he's currently contributing 5% of his salary, which means he's putting in $3,000 a year into the plan. At 70% of his take-home pay, he expects to live off during retirement $42,000 a year in today's dollars. But actually, when he's at age 65, the same buying power, because of inflation, he'll need $63,645 a year to live. To fund his total retirement, $1.7 million. Now he has some help. He's already got $60,000 saved up, and the value of this current savings at retirement is going to be worth $103,000. Now, he's also contributing here at 3000 a month or 3000 a year. That'll add another $78,000 to his pot. Plus, he also gets, if it's still around, the Canada Pension Plan at $13,110. And if it's uh, based on his taxes, how they're split up properly uh, in the right funds, he may get the old age supplement which is $6,800 a year annually, giving him a total of $19,926 as seen here. Okay, so also, uh, you'll see there's usually you get a 1% increase in your benefits each year. We all know it's supposed to keep up with inflation, but it hasn't been. But it is worth $468,000 of his retirement plan. So let's go down a bit. Right here. Years of payout will last without additional savings is 10.5 years. Not the 30 years he wanted. He will only last 10 and a half. Additional annual savings needed is $41,700 per year. Now that's not reasonable. That's 74% of his income. Let's quickly go down and I'll show you what his actual results would be. He retires at age 65. He's got $141,000, starts to, there's the Canada pension kicking in right there, and it goes up a little bit every year, and how much he has to pull out of his retirement plan every year, but his balance does not look good right here when he is 69 years old, so uh, that's not working for him. So let's change one thing and see if we can help Joe out. Go to the top, the only thing we're going to change here is where he invests his money. So we'll get the average rate out of, uh, for the last 30 years, 9.83%, which is easy to find. Uh, that's the only thing we're going to change. Everything stays the same. We'll look at here. Uh, this is all the same. Let's go down now to see what happens with Joe. His payout will last now 26 years, 26.3 years. So he's almost up to the 30-year mark. Additional annual savings needed for him to hit his target would be $558 a year. So he should, uh, percentage of salary to reach his goal, uh, 5.93. So he'd have to up his giving. Here's his chart after. So the red line is now this proposed plan and all he did was boost where he saved his money. 
he should add the 3,000 plus the 558 to arrive at the blue line. And that helps him out a lot. Let's just take a look. He's now putting in 3,558 per year. And he, let's look at his balances. We'll scoot down to where he's 65. Okay, 65 right there. He's now got 600,000. It's quite a bit different than the 140,000 he had. And as we go down, we see the different ages and how much he's pulling out of uh, what Canada Pension's giving him and what he's pulling out of his retirement fund at age 74. He still has a fair bit of cash left. 79, 80. Okay, we're up to uh, there. Age 94. Got 26,000 from Canada Pension, an old age supplement, if it's still there. He can pull out 89,690 from his savings. And he still has a balance of $267,000 in his account. And all we did was change where Joe invested his money to the average. Now, how we find this average is we look at the top 35 companies in Canada. Now, there's a lot of good and fine people out there, men and women that do the same kind of work, but they only usually work for one company. But what we do is a little different. What we do is we compare the top 35 companies in Canada and we get you the best rate possible. In fact, for the last five years, the average has been 11.83, and that dramatically changes his numbers. There. He's way up. He will never run out of money. Let's take a look at Joe here at 65. There it is. He's got 515000 at age 94. He's still got $488,000. But even if he stays at the amounts we had before, the 9.83, he is still fine and dandy because he's still got $267,000. Joe is in great shape. That's what we shared with him in his meeting, and he decided, like another 89,000 people did this year, to go for the average rate and find a good broker to find that for him. Should you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, and thanks for watching.